Bradley is back with rowing video number 10. All right, yes, I'm back. Got the Stooges to my left. I got a rowing mat underneath my rowing machine here. You can see it's kind of pink. All right, let's get adjusted here. Got to get my nut sack in the right position here. So before we get started rowing, these are the pipes I was talking about, extra length on the handles. You can buy these at any local hardware store. It's just it's just plastic piping, you know, for wires and stuff in your house. So you can actually have your handles way out here. This is a bit too much. Okay, we got the second one, which is kind of the medium one, which is not bad. All you do is slip them over both sides, so you got a little, your pull is a little wider. And I think we're gonna, next time we do a rowing video, we're gonna use the small ones. Which if you notice right here, they basically go about maybe that much further out. So basically you'll have a stretch of, oh, right about here, I think. Not bad. All right. So I got Stooges on the left. All right, got my yoga mat underneath my rowing machine. Isn't that pretty pink? I got my uh, rowing attire on. I really shouldn't be doing these. I've felt good for about a week. I've done a couple videos so far, but you know, I'm still not at full strength, of course. So let's get going. I better adjust myself first down here. I feel like something is hanging in too much. <laughs> okay, here we go. I know my rowing videos are exactly boring as hell, but... Oh, there we go. See, you notice the length in these handles could be a little further out. That's why we're going to have the, uh, the small ones added uh, for the next rowing video. All right, there we go. Just nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. You guys could probably hear the Stooges off to the left right over here. So I got some plans for this room in the next uh, few days or week or so. I'm going to get rid of uh, some of these characters right over here, the clown, Slappy. So you got a little more room over here. It's kind of congested a little bit. So I got some good news about my job today. I've been off for about a week now at my job because I'm not feeling too well. But I was talking to my store director today, and instead of working three days a week, I'm going to go down to two days a week starting next week. I'll be there uh, Friday and Saturdays of each week from 2 o'clock to 10 o'clock at night. Just two days a week. I think I've, saw, I've talked about this before, that I felt like it's really kind of a dangerous place to work. You know, there's a lot of sick people shopping there. It's not so much uh, the employees, it's really, what worries me is the, the customers. You know, a lot of coughing, a lot of sneezing, and I think it's affected my performance in the last maybe six months. You know, shortness of breath, crap like that. This is why I went back to rowing. Okay, the time is 10.34 p.m., so what we're going to do is probably go to about 50 maybe, about 10.50. How about 15 more minutes exactly? There we go. I'm not sure exactly when it started, maybe about three, maybe three minutes ago. So my goal here is to kind of expand my lungs a little bit. Since I don't get outside and exercise as much as I used to when I was a young whippersnapper. Not bad. Don't want to overdo it, so it don't feel very well. Getting pretty close to being done with this goddamn cold or asthma or whatever the hell it is. Allergies. All right. So that's going to help me a lot with my job, only having to work two days a week. As you know, I just turned 69 on four, four about three days ago. So I am over 69 years old now. Oh my God. I think when I did those other videos, I was probably about 60, 61 years old. Because they look like they're dated for seven, eight years ago. They're on my YouTube channel, towards the bottom or something like that. There's something like 430 videos on that uh, YouTube channel. 
This will be posted on YouTube, of course. Sounds great. Boy, this is sure better than use cherry pie. You can listen to the Stooges. I better take a gulp of water here. The other thing I've done recently is right over here, I kind of pushed this display case back a little bit so there's a little more room in this section. It kind of opens up the room a little bit more, and that's really what I wanted to do. So, including what I'm, what I'm going to do here in the next few days, kind of open up some of this stuff right here. Not this stuff back here, but right there. All right. Not many people look at my rowing videos. You know, Bradley is kind of like an outcast. That's okay, though. I've always been an outcast. I just kind of do what I want to do. All my weird characters on YouTube. You know, YouTube doesn't really give you much credit anyway. You know, they kind of like keep me at the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. You know, with views and thumbs up and subscribers. You know. My numbers haven't shifted very much in the last two and a half years since I basically came out of uh, video retirement. Not bad. So you can actually put your hands right here too. You can do a close grip pull. It just works different parts of your chest, your arms, your back, things of that nature. Not bad. When I used to row on a regular basis, I used to experiment with all kinds of different hand positions. Because I felt that you got a different pull and a different effect on your, your upper body and lower body. It's not the greatest rowing machine in the world. It's a cheapie. Like I said, I got this from eBay about four months ago. And I finally broke it out of the box about two weeks ago and decided to actually start these rowing videos again which is probably a good idea at my age bracket 69 is not a young young man anymore not a spring chicken anymore Bradley's getting old and I can feel it I'm never gonna go back to the days that I used to go to LA Fitness and do those thousand pound leg presses and stuff like that that was just Man, I was a beast back then, man. That's funny. She never stopped working at LA Fitness. It just basically kind of screwed up my health a little bit. But about the best thing I've ever done now recently is gone down from five days to four days, three days, and now two days at uh, Cub Foods, where I work, in uptown Minneapolis. So I feel that. I need to make a major change in my life here. This is my option, by the way. I could still be working there five days a week, but I felt like my health was at risk. My life was at risk. Too many problems up at that store with customers and the area, of course. We all know where I live and work. So I went down to four days a week, about 11 months ago. And about nine months ago, I went down to three days a week. And I just couldn't take it anymore, so I went down to two days a week starting next week. It's already been approved. It's in the books. Don't know if that's going to help me much, but, you know, at least it'll give me more time to do this kind of stuff. You know, that's what I really want to do. Oh, my God. I'm kind of sweating right now. I got the door shut in this room because I want to try to work up a bit of a sweat. Because I feel like... Whatever kind of crap I might have, this is about 85, 90% gone, but still it sucks, man. I can't work under those conditions when you, you know, when you don't feel that well. So I figure next week I should be a lot better. A week from tomorrow I'll go back to my job. It's kind of nice that Caboose has allowed me to do this. Like I said, I am a manager up there. CM, CSM manager. I manage the front end, you know, five days a week now. Four, four, three days, two days now. Every week, it's because I just, you know, too many problems up there, folks. Too many problems. Too many problems. Get too old to handle these kind of problems. 
But anyway, I don't know. I want to thank the guy that uh, actually commented on my first video or my second video back. I really do appreciate your uh, your effort just to put a you know a few a nice little comment on. I really really do appreciate that. Most people just won't comment. Most people don't even look at my YouTube channel, even though it's got like a thousand thirty subscribers. You know, but that ain't shit. I should be way the hell up there. But you know, YouTube. You know, politics with YouTube, of course. You know, if they don't like what you're doing, they kind of, like I said earlier, they keep you in the at the bottom of the barrel. So that's okay. I just do this for fun of it anyway. I really didn't take this seriously from the very beginning when I started this maybe in 2015 making all these goofy videos with Mr. Myers, Penny, Freddy, Butcher, Spidey, you know, the other kind of strange, weird characters that I've done over the years. People don't even realize that after 200, uh, 2016, I took a four and, four and a half year break off about making videos. I got into working out at LA Fitness instead. Didn't have much time to do this kind of stuff for all my my character uh, videos. But then about two and a half years ago, I got, kind of caught the bug again, a little bit caught the bug in, so to speak. And I started making more videos again. Got the room all set up the way it was in the past. And basically went right back into uh, production. I'm not sure if my new videos are much better than the old ones. The old ones are more raw. The new ones are a little more polished. The room is a little more splashy looking. I don't know. 10.43. But anyway, I decided to put this, this pad below to keep the noise level down. I think that helps a little bit. This is my yoga mat, by the way. Stooges are just getting over with one of their episodes. I think a new one is coming up right now. I hope there is anyway. Well, maybe not. Maybe that one's, oh, here it comes. All right. Ooh. You know, you can actually pull on this machine too. You can actually just pull the main uh, bar right here. So you really get a close grip here. And just kind of like, you see, stretch, 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 thrust with your legs, stretch, thrust with your legs, pull with your arms. There's a lot of different uh, grip varieties you can actually do here. All right. I can already see I'm sweating. It's probably a good idea that I did this tonight. All right, man. We're not going to do any kind of shout outs, except for the people who actually comment and I really appreciate that so much on these uh, videos I make. All right. Oh yeah, it feels good. Of course you want to inhale when you come, when you pull backwards. Exhale as you bring the bar forward. It's a pretty simple rolling machine. Like I said, it's only about $120, but it actually is quite effective for something that's quick and efficient. It's perfect for your goddamn uh, home uh, workout area. It's small, compact. It fits, it fits under your bed, fits in the corner. You can keep it set up in the corner of your room, your living room or something like that. It's not too bad, man. All right. We're not going to be talking about that job too much, much longer anyway. I'm going to concentrate more on my rowing videos and my other type of videos. Since now i got one extra day a week. Oh, Bradley's getting old. It's kind of funny how time just creeps on, up on you, you know, without you even knowing it. Pretty soon you're like 40, then 50, then 60, then 
65 and 69, man. It's like, where in the hell did the time go? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Got about another four minutes left in this one. I think I might even go another eight minutes. Yeah. Ah, oh, see, just pull it. You can feel it pretty good in your arms, and like I said, the tension is right here. You can adjust the tension right here. You can adjust it either super light, or you can adjust it super heavy where you can't even pull it. I mean, if you really want to pull some goddamn hard weight, that'll really give you a workout. But since I'm kind of like under the weather a little bit, I'm going to keep this at the current uh, tension level. So you can see my legs coming forward, right? All right. I like the Stooges, man. You're kind of watching them off to the left right there. You can't see it, but I can. All right. Like I said, I would recommend if you do get a rowing machine for your apartment, do about a 20 minute workout, maybe three times a week. I wouldn't roll five times or seven times a week. I think three times a week should be sufficient, especially if you don't go to the gym or do anything else, like a ride a bike or rock or jog or stuff like that. At least you have some kind of workout on your belt for the day, which is actually pretty beneficial, I think. Better than nothing, right? I'm never going back to LA Fitness because the gym is terrible and it's located in uptown Shitville, of course. Don't want to go anywhere near that place. Nothing against the gym in general, just because of what happened in the last three, four years. Kind of like, just kind of really depressed a lot of people. Kind of screwed everybody's life up. It still is. Ah, oh, this feels good, folks. I know these rolling videos are just not exactly pretty damn boring. <laughs> They're boring. I can. I know there's not much. I'm. I'm mainly just shooting my mouth off about stuff. But like I said, I used to insult people a lot when I did my first seven or eight ones. That's when I was a little more cocky. You know, I'm gotten a little older, kind of like mellowed out a little bit, chilled down a little bit. All right, not bad. We'll be talking about a whole lot of other things when I do my future rolling videos also. But a lot of people don't know I was a landscape artist. I used to paint uh, landscapes and canvas. I got pretty good at it. I got everything set up again, my canvas, my easel, all my paints, my brushes, you know, all my, uh, just everything I really need. I can start anytime I want. I just got to remember, I got to find some time. When I feel a little bit better, I probably will. I can start anytime. Everything's already set up and ready to go in my other room over there. I'm just waiting for the proper time. All right. Well, there's really not much to talk about. I know this rowing video is uh, extremely boring, you know, and I, I kind of, I kind of understand why people wouldn't want to watch it, because I mainly just kind of gibber gabber and, you know, go roll back and forth. But anyway, like I said, this rowing machine is actually pretty, you know, uh, construction is pretty solid. I mean, it's well built for a hundred. 15, 20 bucks. You can't go wrong on the price. Especially if you want a small rowing machine for your apartment or your house. It, it fits anywhere, man. It's small. You can see how small it is. All right. There we go, man. Anyway, this is the, like I said before, this is the length I'm going to go for a, my next rolling video. I'm going to get, I have another piece I'm going to cut to the size, so you just slip them on the edges, and you just have a slightly uh, wider pull. So I think we're going to use that for the time being. This one's a little short. It's effective, but it's a little short. 
you know, I want to try to expand the, the pull. See, you've got the longer pulls on. You pull like this so you get a bit of stretch in your chest, especially on your lats, your back, stuff like that. This one kind of has limitations right here, but it still works. All right. But anyway, Bradley's two days from full retirement. Down to two days a week at the job. You know, I love my co-workers. I love my, my, my store directors and everything. It's the customers that really bother me. That's the reason I went down to two days a week, from five to two. For my own personal safety, my own personal health safety. You know, I just got, I can't risk this anymore. Right. 52, folks. We're going to end this in three minutes. So I just wanted to kind of do another rolling video for you. Give you some demonstration demonstration of what you can do with this machine. You know, actually, you can actually put your feet even further down like this. So you can actually get a different feel. If you want to just work your upper body, you can do that too. You don't have to use the seat at all. Just like this. I like this rolling machine. Well worth the money, folks. Well worth the money. If you're a shut-in like me. All right. But anyway, we're gonna end this in a few minutes. I'm gonna put my feet back in the, the saddle thingies here. Saddle thingies here. There we go. Oh. You know, the further you bring your legs down like this, the better they get a workout on the top of the bottoms, your thighs, your hamstrings, which is actually pretty good. Remember to inhale, exhale, you go down like this. Inhale, exhale. Trying to get my lungs expanded again. Kind of get back to where I used to be when I was in a little better uh, physical condition and a little bit younger. All right. All right. Well, we got another minute or so that we're going to call it night. Call it finished. We're going to call it a night. Or maybe finished. How about that? Yeah, I'm so goofy. All right. Thank you to everybody who supports my YouTube channel. Really do appreciate it. I know I'm far from the most popular person on YouTube, but, you know, I just do it for fun. I don't expect to be 100,000 subscribers, stuff like that. That's never going to happen, of course. YouTube won't allow it. I don't fit into their category of PC slash work type videos with all my other type of videos, so... I'm kind of like the black sheep of the family. The black sheep of YouTube. Or one of tens of thousands who get the shaft, so to speak. That's okay. Like I've tried to explain to YouTube before, I just do this for the fun of it. I have no aspirations here, folks. You know, I could make some adjustments, but then you have to kiss YouTube's ass big time. I ain't kissing YouTube's goddamn ass. No fucking way, man. They need to kiss my ass. I make entertaining videos. They should understand that. Okay, we're going to end this video, folks. So, I tried to keep the ranting down to a minimum here. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of screw around this rolling machine again tonight. So, we're going to end this. And I do appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, comments, crap like that, views. I'd really appreciate that very much. All right. All right, time to end this, folks. Ooh. Feels like a sauna in here, man. So until next time, folks, we will see you at the rowing station for rowing video number 11, 